I am frequently asked, Patricia, how did you become so successful as a speaker? After all, you're the first woman president, the National Speakers Association Hall of Fame keynote speaker, and you've spoken to audiences on five continents for over 30 years. Well, I promise you, I did not start with any great talent, and that is not being modest. I started with an interest in and a commitment to becoming a good speaker. I started with the Dale Carnegie public speaking course and then Toastmasters. And with my friends that I met in Dale Carnegie, we called ourselves the Future Millionaires Breakfast Club. We went to every seminar we heard about. We went to the big rallies and bought all the books and the tapes. And I heard about the National Speakers Association. I went to my first one in 1977 as a 32-year-old hairstylist, thinking no one's going to want to talk to me. I only talk to rotary clubs and hairdressers. And that's when I saw the image, the vision of what was possible. One, I knew becoming a professional speaker is a long-term goal. Plus, I was two years into a 10-year lease on my hairstyling salon, and I loved the business. So I thought, let me be in a position, if I want to, eight years later, when my lease was up, to become a speaker. Point one, when you make a decision to be a great speaker, it's not a short-term goal, it's a long-term goal. And I had a real commitment to. So I went to classes, I worked with speech coaches, uh, got friends and learned from acting coaches, comedy writing coaches. I even hired a choreographer and said, do you know anything about speaking? He said, no. I said, good. Watch my three hour seminar and give me feedback from your point of view. He gave me one piece of advice that was invaluable. He said, Patricia, you're doing a good job using the width of the stage. You don't use enough depth of the stage. Much of the advice that I have invested nearly 40 years learning is now available to you. Because 40 years ago, there wasn't nearly as much help. We didn't have the internet. There wasn't YouTube. So if you're interested in learning just some or a lot of what I have learned and put together so you don't have to have the frustration, the challenge. The benefits of taking my online course mean for busy professionals, you immediately start developing the skills that are going to give you a competitive edge.